Welcome to Adventure Sphere. This channel is dedicated to missing people who are missing with a vehicle. In the process of creating this database, we are creating a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team to search for the people featured on our channel. Our services are free of charge. We ask you to consider subscribing, watch our content, and help spread awareness of our endeavor. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline can be reached by dialing 988 or 1-800-273-8255. Michael Hughes, then 40, is missing from Carteret, New Jersey. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, his last date of contact was Sunday, January 1st, 2006. Michael drives a silver and black 2001 Pontiac Grand Am with New Jersey license plates PDR15M. His tags expired in 2006. The police department can be reached at 732 541 4181. Michael's case number is 0607204100. The high that day was 43 and the low was 31. There was no precipitation. I don't think the weather really would have played too much of a factor in the disappearance, but it was also the first, and if he was out, maybe with some friends drinking or something that might be plausible. Um, let's see here. The sunrise was at 722 and the sunset at 441. I do have some questions. If any of his family or friends see this and can shed some light on it, it would really help us narrow down the search area. Uh, what were the coordinates of his last cell phone ping? If we can get that... It would narrow the search area down to about a three mile radius. Um, if you cannot get that from his phone carrier, then the police should be able to get for, get it for you. Uh, what were his work and home addresses and places that he liked to frequent? What are, uh, at work, did he put in any time off requests or resign recently from a position? Did he prefer to go out or stay home? Is he an early bird or a night owl? Did he give any possessions away in the month or two before he disappeared? Does he prefer to drive on main roads or back roads? Does Michael drive at night? Was there any road construction in the area that would have had detours that took him through unfamiliar territory? We don't have road construction really in the winter months in Minnesota, but I don't know what the weather is like there in the winter if there's snow or if the ocean prevents it from really forming. Uh, were the license plate readers checked and would law enforcement check them again for you? Did he put any calls into AAA, his mechanic, or car insurance in the day or two before he disappeared? Did he have a recent bladder infection or a urinary tract infection diagnosed within three days of going missing? Does he have any other chronic health issues such as diabetes, seizures, uh, issues with his vision? And then what was the place of his last verified financial transaction? The date and time of that might help us look for him as well as to pinning down an area. Uh, the places I'm going to mention next are shared with my blessing, so Michael can be reunited with his family regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from our current best starting location, which is just his hometown and then it goes out to possible search areas we focus on bodies of water within five miles of their last known location and within five miles of their destination if an area has been heavily searched we may expand the search area but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home so the first area i'd like to look at would be the arthur kill there's smith's creek and pond the raritan river Milton Lake Pond, Middlesex Reservoir would be good. Um, reservoirs are usually a little bit deeper and it would be a good place to hide a vehicle. There's the Rahway River, Elizabeth River, Old Place Creek Access, and then 
uh, Fresh Kills. I believe that's over on Staten Island. There's a lot of water over there that we could look into. If you'd like to help Michael's family find him, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell to receive progress reports. I'll let the video play out here for just a couple of minutes so you can see the entire search area if you'd like. If you see something I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and remember that we love you. Thank you.